By now you know how an agent logs in and makes themselves available. You also know how to answer a call. Sometimes agents need help, so let's learn how to transfer a call. We are looking at the agent desktop. Please note that the agent is in the available state. When a call comes in, the agent will know this because they will see it in the upper left corner of the screen. They can answer or decline the call. Let's see what happens when we answer the call. The screen suddenly changes. We can visually see the call. We see that it came from the main number, in this case, 240-204-9150. This company happens to have several business lines, and we can see that the caller has indicated their interest in toasters. We can also see the length of time this call has been going on, here. Notice too that the agent is no longer available because they are engaged in a call. Let's say the customer has a question that the agent is not fully equipped to answer. In this case, the customer had a question about microwave ovens, but found himself speaking to an agent from the toaster's department. The agent needs to transfer the call, so they would click on the transfer button. This brings up three possible options. Agent allows the agent to transfer to a specific person. In our scenario, the correct person is not available, so clicking Q gives the agent a choice of cues that might be a better fit for the customer. If the agent needs to outdial, the dial number option is also available. Once transferred, the wrap-up appears. Another option is the consult button. This is used when the agent can handle the call, but might need a little help. Even though the dial number is available, the agent is more likely to select another agent from the drop-down list. Once accepted by the other agent, both can be on the phone with the customer or just a warm handoff to the other agent. 